विश्राम पची कार्यक्रमा पुनः स्वागत छ ग्रामीण सडक को विस्तारले गाउँ तह सम्म विकासका अन्य पूर्वाधारहरूको विस्तार गर्न सहयोग पुर्याउँछ नेपालमा पछिल्लो समय ग्रामीण सडकको विस्तारको क्रम पनि बढेको छ तर तीनको दिगोपना भने हुन सकेको छैन हेरौ यो रिपोर्ट नेपालमा पछिल्लो समय ग्रामीण सडक विस्तारको क्रम बढेको छ अहिले सम्म विस्तार भएको 51000 किलोमिटर सडकहरू मध्ये करिब 20000 किलोमिटर मात्र प्रयोगमा आउन सकेको छ पूर्वाधार विकासका लागि सडक महत्त्वपूर्ण मानिन्छ मुलुकको कुल भूभागको 80% भूभाग ग्रामीण क्षेत्रले ओगटेको छ जुन क्षेत्रमा सडक विस्तार कार्य अति आवश्यक छ तर भौगोलिक विकटता स्रोत साधनको अभावमा सडक निर्माण कार्य चुनौतीपूर्ण भएको छ त्यसैले यस्ता ग्रामीण क्षेत्र विकासको हिसाबले झनै पछाडि परेका छन् विकासको मूल आधार सडक विस्तार कार्यलाई नेपाल सरकारले प्राथमिकतामा राखेर विभिन्न कार्यक्रमहरू सञ्चालन गरिरहेको छ यस्ता कार्यक्रमहरूलाई विभिन्न राष्ट्रिय तथा अन्तर्राष्ट्रिय संस्थाहरूले पनि प्राथमिकताका साथ सहयोग गरिरहेको देख्न सकिन्छ यस्तै संस्था मध्येको एक हो ग्रामीण पहुँच कार्यक्रम सन् उन्नाइस सय नेपालको ग्रामीण क्षेत्रमा सडक विस्तारलाई प्राथमिकतामा राखेको यो संस्थाले अहिले तेस्रो चरणको कार्यक्रम चौधवटा जिल्लाहरूमा विस्तार गरेको छ RAP is going to be 15 years old. Now, it went through a design phase in the beginning. Uh, by 2001, the first phase has started. Um, then there was a second phase, and then as of last year, there's now a third phase. Now, the phases all spent about, in pounds, about 35 million pounds the first phase similarly the second phase and now the third phase so in total rap has actually spent over 100 million um british sterling pounds on a whole series of things for instance concerned with rap phase 1 essentially that was new road construction it was in uh three districts in the west and four districts in the east Uh, it generated millions of days of employment six and a half to be precise according to my notes here and there was 14000 households involved in income generating schemes कतिपय विकास निर्माणका कार्यक्रमहरू पूर्व अध्ययन र योजना नगरीकन नै सञ्चालन भएका पनि छन् त्यस्ता आयोजनाहरूले अपेक्षित प्रतिफल दिन सक्दैनन् त्यसैले यो संस्थाले सडक दिगोपनाका लागि तेस्रो चरणको कार्यक्रमले प्रभावकारी भूमिका रहने जनाएको छ One of the important things regarding sustainability is that RAP does not use machinery. Uh, it has so far been entirely labor based. Now in the kind of areas we're talking about in the hills, um the environment is very very fragile and actually we do less harm building a road by hand than you would if you were to use a machine. It's also slower but then by being slower it means that it takes us about 3 to 4 years to construct a road and during that time all the people who are working on it are being paid uh, wages so that's the first part of that uh, it's a difficult place to build roads which is sustainable there at the moment there's still earthen roads and there's a very high toll in terms of damage caused when the rains come and so on so that's why the maintenance of them is so important you can't just build them and leave them alone some people say well you could construct a concrete road or a black top road but for the traffic involved the costs just don't stack up it doesn't make sense so at the moment what we're doing is we're going for a lot of maintenance now the return on maintenance can be very very big in terms of the savings that you get out of it and we've calculated that for every dollar that you invest in maintenance you get 3 and a half dollars return so the benefit to cost ratio is 350% now that's that's very very good and very very high so maintenance makes a lot of sense ग्रामीण क्षेत्रको विकासका लागि ग्रामीण सडक मुख्य आधार हो त्यसैले यो संस्थाले ग्रामीण सडक सँगै ग्रामीण क्षेत्रको सामाजिक आर्थिक विकासका पक्षलाई पनि कार्यक्रममा समेटेको छ The other thing I think is that the trouble with that the other side of that though is that it takes a long time to construct the road because you have to make it long take long enough so that people actually have money in their pockets that they can then start up with their new business. So from the uh, government side there is often a feeling that we're taking too long. because the other argument is if you open up the road then the stream of benefits 
would, would start much quicker. There is a balance between, between the two that you have to, have to strike. I mean, in places like Humla and Mugu, where we're constructing new roads, you can't get machinery in there. Uh, you have to do it by hand. Uh, it, it takes three to four years, and I think they're very appreciative of, of the opportunity, uh, the opportunity to, to advance themselves. That's, that's the main thing about it. Um, where you put in a road uh, using machinery and you can put it in very quickly, actually wealthier people can take advantage of it because it's a good business opportunity. But for the poor who do not have the, the funds available to go into business, it, it doesn't benefit them so much now. Um, RAP was designed to try and help the poor take advantage of the new roads that were constructed. And uh, that view still holds today and under RAP 3. विकास को मेरुदंड सड़क हो जून क्षेत्रमा सड़क को पहुंच पुक्ष त्यो क्षेत्रमा विकास का अन्य आधारभूत पूर्वाधार पनि सजिले पूर्ण सक्छ नेपाल को ग्रामीण क्षेत्र को विकासमा सड़क को महत्वपूर्ण भूमिका रहेता पनि प्रभावकारी योजना बिना निर्माण भएका सड़कहरूले विकास भन्दा पनि विनाशलाई निम्ताइ रहेको छ त्यसैले यस्ता सड़क निर्माण गर्दा दिको पनामा जोड दिन आवश्यक छ